Angular Simple Harmonic Motion A slender uniform metal rod with mass capital M is pivoted without friction about an axis through its midpoint and perpendicular to the rod. A horizontal spring with force constant K is attached to the lower end of the rod with the other end of the spring attached to a rigid support. If the rod is displaced by a small angle theta from the vertical and released, show that it moves in angular simple harmonic motion and calculate the period. So we can recall for a uniform rod which has mass capital M the moment of inertia for rotations about the center of mass axis is 1 over 12 capital M length L squared. So we have seen this in the previous problem, for example, problem 1473. And if we write the net torque acting on this uh, rod, you can see that uh, there is the weight of the uh, rod that is pointing down here. It's on the uh, center of mass. So because we are talking about the center of mass axis, this force has no torque effect. However, the spring restoring force, Fs, uh, which is going to make an angle theta with the horizontal axis, will have a torque effect. So this angle with the vertical is 90 degrees and therefore this angle uh, is 90 degrees. Uh, this is theta, this is 90 degrees, 90 minus theta and theta is the angle with respect to the uh, horizontal here. So you can see that the perpendicular component of the uh, spring restoring force will be this component which will be the Fs multiplied with cosine of the angle theta. So this will have a torque effect and it, the sense of rotation will be basically in this direction. So we will have a, a, an angular speed omega that will develop due to this torque or let's say it's going to have an angular acceleration alpha due to this uh, torque. So we can write Newton's second law rotational form, the moment of inertia I multiplied with alpha is equal to ML squared over 12 and alpha is the angular acceleration, second derivative of angular position with respect to time and this net torque is basically in a direction as you can see that will reduce the angle theta. So it's in the minus theta hat direction and therefore uh, the sense of rotation will give us in a minus theta hat. So the net torque will be minus the spring restoring force cosine theta uh, multiplied with the perpendicular distance and the perpendicular distance between the pivot point and point of application of the force is L over 2. Because we have a uniform rod, the center of mass is right in the middle. So this is equal to I alpha, which is ML square over 12 theta double dot. And on the other hand, the restoring spring restoring force is uh, the spring constant K times the displacement from equilibrium. Now we have to find how much would be the displacement from equilibrium if we have this side L over 2. This angle uh, basically is theta. You can see L over 2 sine theta will be the displacement delta x. Uh, from the equilibrium position of the spring. So assuming that in the vertical position, we had the equilibrium uh, situation, relaxed situation in the spring. And then when we rotate it a little bit by an angle theta, we're going to have a displacement delta x that is L over 2 times 
sine theta. So k times L over 2 sine theta will be our restoring force. Now we have a small angular displacement. So for a small angle theta, we can uh, replace sine theta with theta due to Taylor series expansion. And cosine theta, the first non-zero term for theta equals to zero is one. Basically cosine zero is one. So uh, the next term is minus theta squared over 2, but we're taking the first non-zero term in the Taylor's expansion. So if we write uh, torque equals I alpha, for uh, the spring force, I substitute here for the spring force, K L over 2 times theta, so minus K L over 2 uh, theta, for cosine theta, I substitute 1 and then I have an L over 2, the perpendicular distance, that's R cross F. This is equal to I, which is ML squared over 12, theta double dot. And that's second derivative with respect to time. The, the lengths here will... Uh, cancel so I have two of them so it will get rid of this L square and uh, this 2 times 2 is 4 that's going to make this 12 uh, 3 basically so this will be 3 and therefore the equation of motion I will obtain will be theta double dot is equal to minus 3k minus 3k over m theta. That's the form of the equation of motion. And this matches the form that I'm looking for, x double dot equals minus omega square x. So that is simple harmonic motion. And what is the uh, frequency and what is the period of this motion? The angular uh, frequency omega is square root 3k over m. So I can recognize that from the equation of motion. 3k over m square root. That is 2 pi divided by the period t. So I can read the period from this equation as 2 pi capital M divided by 3k in square root. So this would be the period of the small angle oscillations. Okay, so we're talking about angular simple harmonic motion. We have a uniform rod. The center of mass is right in the middle at located at L over 2. Uh, and uh, at one end of the rod, we have a horizontal spring connected with a hook. And when we rotate this rod for a pivot that goes through its center of mass uh, by an angular displacement theta with respect to the vertical, we're going to stretch the spring and there will be a restoring force which will cause a torque on this rod and start rotating it. Because the weight of the rod is right on the center of mass, it has no torque effect. The only torque effect will come from the spring force, which will be spring force times cosine theta multiplied with L over 2. And the torque is acting to close the angle theta, so it's in minus theta hat direction. The moment of inertia for center of mass axis rotations is 1 over 12 ml squared for a uniform rod. So we can substitute that here and also noting that the displacement that we cause from equilibrium is delta x which is L over 2 sine theta on the x axis. Uh, for small angles, we can replace sine theta with theta and cosine theta with 1. So we have the torque equals minus Fs, which is minus K L over 2 sine theta or theta, multiplied with cosine theta, which is 1, L over 2 equals I ML squared over 12 
theta double dot, that's alpha, angular acceleration. So this gives us an equation of motion, theta double dot equals minus 3k over capital M theta, which is indeed in the form x double dot equals minus omega square x, simple harmonic motion. And we can read omega to be square root 3k over capital M, which is 2 pi divided by the period. So the period should be 2 pi square root capital M over 3k.